Most living things need a bit of help in order to reproduce. Plants can't move around to find each other, so some, like conifers and grasses, release their pollen to be blown to other plants by the wind. Others rely on help from animal pollinators to fertilize their flowers. Pollinators are an essential delivery service. Without them, most of the food we eat wouldn't exist. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. One familiar pollinator is the domestic honeybee, which is not native to North America. Humans have been raising them to pollinate crops and produce honey for at least 9,000 years. But there are more than 20,000 other species of bees in the world, many of which are native to Indiana. Indiana's native bees are varied and beautiful. Most of them are solitary, and many do not sting. Some, like this spring beauty minor bee, are oligolectic, specialized to pollinate one specific species of flower. This female is collecting pink pollen from spring beauty blossoms on her legs. Some of it will fall off to fertilize the flowers she visits. The rest will be brought back to her burrow to be turned into bee bread for her offspring to eat. Mason bees like this one cannot sting. They are three times more efficient at pollinating than honeybees. This cuckoo bee is a brood parasite. She does not collect pollen or construct her own nest, but will sneak inside the burrow of another species to replace its eggs with her own. Green sweat bees are small metallic bees. They're notoriously attracted to the salt of human sweat, but this one is more interested in the nectar of a dandelion. Carpenter bees are large, noisy, and noticeable. This female is hard at work building a nest in the wood beams of our front porch. The male cannot sting, but does his best to aggressively drive off potential threats. Certain flowers, like tomatoes, only release pollen when the blossoms are vibrated. Carpenter bees are one of the only pollinators capable of this special buzz pollination. Bees aren't the only pollinators. This paper wasp feeds her offspring caterpillars, but as an adult, she drinks nectar and pollinates the flowers she visits. You can see her short, tongue-like mouth parts licking honey off of my finger. This ichneumon wasp is pollinating a buckeye flower. You can tell he's male because he lacks the long, needle-like ovipositor that the females use to lay eggs. Not only do ichneumon wasps pollinate, they also protect plants by parasitizing caterpillars. Green bottle flies are best known for laying their eggs in meat, but the adults are eager pollinators. This buzzing, hovering insect looks like a bee, but is actually a fly. Bee flies like this one are also brood parasites. Another bee mimic, this calligrapher fly possesses no stinger or venom. Butterflies like this meadow fritillary will also pollinate flowers, as will many moths. Very few plants are pollinated by ants. Instead, this peony enjoys a different kind of relationship. In exchange for nectar secretions, the ants protect the peony blossom from aphids and other pests. Animal pollinators are not limited to insects. Hummingbirds prefer flowers with bright red petals and deep reserves of nectar. In some parts of the world, plants are pollinated by bats, lizards, possums, and even lemurs. But Earth's pollinators are facing a crisis. 25% of all known species of bees have not been seen since the 1990s, and many more are in decline. 
Several factors are to blame, including habitat loss, climate change, overuse of pesticides, and the spread of disease. What we might think of as a lush, green, and tidy lawn is a barren wasteland to animals. Decades of pesticide and herbicide use has caused insect populations to plummet, putting our own future on the line. 35% of what we eat is pollinated by bees. Without them, the future is hungry. Luckily, there are ways we can help. We can plant native trees and wildflowers around our homes and neighborhoods to provide food and habitat, while avoiding non-native plants that may outcompete them or require more pollutants to care for. We can also educate ourselves and each other to better promote large-scale change. Citizen science projects seek help from children and adults to record and report insect sightings. These include Monarch Watch and the Great American Indiana Nature Projects. To learn how you can get involved, check out some of these resources. And remember, life on planet Earth means sharing it with our neighbors.